Hello friends, uh, welcome to another video from Triple E Helper. In this video, we are going to quickly cover one of our model, which is single phase grid connected inverter with active and reactive power control. So here I have noted down system description. So we have used single phase full bridge inverter topology with a 48 volt as DC link input voltage. And we have used a famous unipolar sign triangle PWM technique by switching frequency of 5 kilohertz and fundamental frequency of 60 hertz. And on the grid side, we have a single phase grid of 120 volt RMS and 60 hertz fundamental frequency. And we have used the L-type filter. And uh, also we have a single phase transformer uh, to connect a uh, single phase inverter to a grid with 20 volt RMS as primary voltage and 120 volt RMS as secondary voltage. And in this simulation, we have done grid current control. So uh, basically grid current reference is generated based upon active and reactive power commands. And we have used proportional resonant controller to control uh, grid current and this PR controller is very good uh, when you want to have AC signal control. Now let's go to the MATLAB model. So here I have shown the complete model of single phase grid connected inverter. First we have a single phase full bridge inverter topology and the input uh, uh, DC link voltage is set to 48 volt. Then we have a L-type filter and uh, then we have a transformer and the secondary of transformer is connected to grid. And grid parameter is set to 120 volt RMS and 60 hertz frequency. And on the control side, we have an active and reactive power command. So based on P and Q, we are generating a reference current. Uh, so the grid current is compared to the, the reference current and the error goes to PR controller, which generates a control signal. And uh, the control signal will go to PDM generation block, uh, which generates a gate signal for single phase full bridge inverter topology. So in this simulation, uh, I will validate this model for two PQ cases. So in first case, I have set uh, PS95 and QS0. So let us run this model. Here the blue waveform is uh, reference grid current and uh, the yellow waveform is actual grid current. So you can see that after one cycle, uh, the reference grid current and the actual grid current, they are almost overlapping each other. Uh, so the PR controller is working uh, very accurately. So let's see uh, the grid voltage and the grid current. So here the yellow waveform is uh, uh, grid voltage waveform and the blue waveform is uh, grid current waveforms. So you can see that uh, the power factor is one uh, because we have set uh, reactive power to be zero. Uh, so here we are calculating P and Q. So you can see that P is 95 and Q is 0. So let us check this model for another case. Let's set P uh, to be 60. And Q as 30. Uh, let us again run this model.
So here again, I am showing the actual and the reference grid current. So you can see here again on that after one cycle, uh, they are almost overlapping each other. Uh, let us look grid voltage and grid current. So now here you can see that uh, current is lagging uh, the grid voltage. Uh, this is because uh, now we have set Q as 30. That is uh, uh, means that we are supplying uh, reactive power to grid. So let us look at calculated P and Q value. So you can see that P, P is around 60 and Q is 30. So the controller is working very good. So if you are interested in this model, you can uh, contact us either through our Facebook page, Triple E Helper, or you can write an email to us at one triple e point at gmail.com. So guys, please like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive updates from Triple E Helper. Uh, thank you.